Okay, for number six, let's calculate R5. And again, you should have an idea that this is a right endpoint. And if you look at this over here, I just want to just discuss that. It starts at minus one, and it goes up to one. And the length of that's going to be, well, that's just two units, right? And you're dividing into five equal pieces, all right? So it's going to be two-fifths. I'm going to write this as a decimal. I shouldn't say decimal. I'm going to write it as four over ten. If you want, you can say 0 0.42. It's the same thing. All those numbers are the same. So if I were to write this down, let me write down what the numbers are. You know, I'd start at, you know, minus 1. You know what? I'm going to write it in terms of tenths. You know what? I'm going to write it in terms of fifths. Let me erase this again over here and go over here. This is important you understand that we need to count. So I'm going to write this as minus 5 fifths. That's minus 1. Then I move up 2 fifths. What would that be? Minus 3 fifths. Then I'm going to move up again 2 fifths. What would that be? Minus 1 fifth. Then I'm going to move up 2 fifths again. What's it going to be? 1 fifth. Then I'm going to move up again. That's going to be 3 fifths. Then I'm going to move up again. It's going to be 5 fifths. And that's where I'm stopping, by the way. That's my set of numbers, by the way. So if I were to divide that interval, I got these numbers over here. And what do they want to do when we do R5? What's it going to be the right endpoints? Well, if you look at the first interval, that would be the right endpoint. Then the next one would be that would be, and then that, and that, and that. How many is that? That's five of those. Let's write this down. So R5, every base is equal to two-fifths. And then what I do is I just simply evaluate these things at those values. And F is given. So it's going to be minus three-fifths, we'll look at the key later, plus f of, I'm looking at this, minus one-fifth, there's going to be five of those, f of one-fifth, plus f of, you know I'm going to do erase that because I don't need that anymore, otherwise I'll just have to keep moving around. Sorry about that. And that's going to be f of three-fifths and then f of 5 fifths. And actually write down 5 fifths, by the way. Let's look at the k, see how we did, and see if we got that. I'm looking at this over here. I'm not gonna go through the arithmetic here with you, but you get 2 fifths, you know, f of minus 3 fifths, f of minus 1 fifths. Yeah, it looks pretty good, we got it, thank you.